Let's talk about some of the common diagnoses for chest pain presenting to the emergency department. This is not an exhaustive list, but I find the best way to think about it is to divide it into systems. So we basically got cardiac, respiratory, gastrointestinal and musculoskeletal, plus a few other rarer ones, which I won't be covering in the video. So in terms of cardiac, the main one is acute coronary syndrome, i.e. myocardial infarction and unstable angina. Uh, we also have pericarditis, which is inflammation of the pericardium, and myocarditis, which is inflammation of the heart muscle. In the vascular system, we have aortic dissection, which is another important life-threatening emergency to consider. Moving on to respiratory, the big one you need to think about is pulmonary embolus, which is a blood clot in one of the pulmonary arteries. But we also have pneumothorax, another very important diagnosis. So that's basically when air gets into the thoracic cavity, but it's not in the lungs themselves. Then we've got of pneumonia, of course, and moving on to gastro, we've got mainly reflux and heartburn and indigestion. So those are all things that can cause chest pain. And then in the MSK department, we've got muscular pain, costochondritis and rib fractures.